We're leaving this bingo hall together. My nuts on her chin, yeah. Guess there is no turning back. My girl's on her lips, on her lips. She might as well give it a big kiss. It's the final girl down, 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 down. It's a fine old girl down, face down, pants down, ass around. Cause that's how I motherfucking do. <laughs> Yo! How is everybody doing? Shit, man. The first video of 2024. Hope you all keep him well, safe, sexy. Apart from the odd few, you know who you motherfucking are. You creepy little fucking wee fucking rats, you. I fucking see you. But everybody else, I hope you're keeping sexy. Oh, yeah, baby. So, I don't know what's happening in 2024 on my channel. Can I be bothered? Can I not? Who the fuck knows? Even I don't know. Too many variables, people. Too many variables. Now... I've got quite a few pickups here. The first one I will say is the arcade one up cabinet, right? So, comes Christmas, we're like, look, do we get a little one, something a little bit extra? Do we get it for the games room or whatever, whatever? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Now, this is my review of the arcade one up in a nutshell, really, really quick. Build quality, alright. Monitor, it does its job. What can I pull down? It's fucking quite easy, people. The joysticks and the buttons are absolutely fucking dog shit. And I mean beyond dog shit. People know I'm a joystick pervert, but pff, that's not even up to my standards. Right, so we've been playing it for about half an hour, like two buttons don't work. I'm like, shit, let me have a look. Takes control panel off, tuck tray underneath. Yeah, I had a look, I thought these buttons are about 10p each. Sorted them, put it back. About five minutes later, little one's joystick's not working out of the side, it's not moving in some ways. I'm like, you're fucking having a laugh. So even if you take them back, we're going to get the same old shit. So my thoughts was, look, I'll upgrade them to some Samware, get some Samware buttons in them. Where I'm going to take this cabinet, I don't know. Do I do everything to it? Do I swap it out? Do you know what, people? I think I possibly might. I love a challenge. And me without a challenge, yeah, what's the point? So, i got all my salmon buttons and I've got them grey and black for both sides. Uh, yeah, one at joysticks is in there, one at buttons has fell. Do I care? Fucking not really. So, yeah, we've got sandwich buttons uh, and sandwich joysticks for the arcade machine. And do you know what, though? If I do start to build it up and I do start to do this and do that, do I stick a mm, Dell monitor in it and stick a little computer in it or the Pandora's? I don't know. But if I do, do I film it? What do you think? Is it going to be a journey? Maybe not. I don't know. But we'll leave that with you. So, first of all, I am now down to 11 games on the Xbox original from a full set. And they are getting hard to find, obviously. Like, there's a few that are near enough unicorns. There's a few footballs that are like unicorns, but hard to get. And I'm like, look, when do I call it a day? When I get them all or what? Then I've come to a point where, look, fuck it. There's a couple more I could possibly pick up that... Yeah, they're not exactly fucking hen's teeth, but they're not everywhere. But I should be to pick them up. Now, after that, I'm not bothered. You know, it is what it is. Because when I started collecting these, maybe, what would it be, two and a half years ago, maybe? Um, but a few certain games that were priced at, say, 200, 200 ish, if you could find them. I could never find them. Um, now you're talking 450. And that's from CX, but CX never get them in. You go on eBay, you're possibly talking 800 each. Yeah, I've seen one. 
condition is definitely not worth fucking eight hundred pound. You know, and where do you sit with that? Yeah, you're never gonna pass it on for more money than what you paid at that money. I thought. So yeah, I'm not too fussed now. Now these are three that I really wanted out of the uh, remaining games. So yeah, I've done decent anyway. You know, so I got King of Fighters O2. The old box and complete, as you know, people. We got Gun Griffin. Now, King of Fighters wasn't too hard to find every now and again, but just no manual. So that was the reason for that one. Gun Griffin, I've just never come across it. Um, same as that one. This is the first time I've ever come across it. And I'm like, look, baby, pack your bags, you're coming with me. Oof, toxic fucking grind. I'll show you fucking grinding. So, yeah, got them three. So, yeah, how the non left now. And like I say, I ain't, I ain't fussed. If I left it there, I'll leave it there, you know. Now, I was on Instagram and I saw that retro import gamer, James, had shown a picture of this game and I'm like, ooh, sounds a bit interesting. He's got me intrigued. And he described it as it's a bit like Pilot Wings. And I'm like, really? Really? Well, let's have a look. And I found it really easy. And yeah, Pilot Sports. For the PS4. I'd never seen it, I'd never come across it, I'd never heard about it. So James, big up. Thank you very much. It's always a winner when people recommend games that you don't really know is out there. Now this one, yeah. I will number wiser on that one. So what I'll do, I'll show... A few disc ones, and then we'll get onto some cartridges. Oh, now these ones with the baggies and the labels are all from Kenny's. So big up Kenny, big up! What a shop! Some real little treats and figures and masks and yeah, never ceases to amaze me what he's got actually got in stock. So I picked up that bully. Now, if I'd have played this back in the day, would I thought it were decent? I don't know. I honestly don't know. But I've tried it for PS2. And wow. The controls, the weight moves. <sighs> yeah, hasn't aged well for me. Yeah, angles were all over. It was just weird. Now, because I bought it for PS2, do you know what I thought? I'll buy it digitally for PS4. It's supposed to be remastered. Same old shit. Still moves similar. This, that and other. So what they did to it, I don't know, but yeah, it may be good back in the day. That comes with the map and everything, so we'll take that one. Another one from Kenny's, Pinball. You can lick on fucking marbles. Ooh, yeah, use your tongue as little tappers. So yeah, Pinball, that were only fucking 99 cents. These, I don't know if they're any good, to be honest. I don't know if they're good games, shit games, fucking pants games. But, you know my nickname, people, you've heard it before. They used to call me Michael Knight. Because I'm the ultimate fucking Knight Rider. And that's what we've got here. Knight Rider, the game. Yeah, don't know too much about it. I haven't seen it. But because I picked that one up, we've got Knight Rider 2. Kitty's back. Better than ever. Not about Kit. I'll get my fucking Kit off. Oh. Yeah, I don't really know. But it's Knight Rider. Why not? Now, I know there's a few games that I need for uh, PS2 if I come across them. And I'm not saying they're good games. It's just for nostalgia about, uh, reasons, really. Even though I haven't played them. Stuff like He-Man, Airwolf, you know. Yeah. So I'll grab them. Now... This little bunch, it's for PS3. I picked it up from uh, Cancer Research. Massive, massive sort of like warehouse type shop. Um, and I saw some more cheap. Now, I could have took the piss out of them and got a few more, but I thought, look, I'm not doing that. If somebody drops on for the money they want, because she was saying, if you want to take rest, you can have them. And I'm like, nah. You know, could have done. But I ain't in it to sort of like buy them just to fucking make profit. Like, what do I sell? If I sell, it's because I've got two and it might be helping somebody else out, whatever, whatever. But I can never be fucking bothered to sell me. 
you know, I'd, I'd rather keep. But we've got GoldenEye Reloaded 007. So I've left prices on. So that's £4. Yeah. And like I said, I'm building up my PS3 collection. So, yeah, these I haven't got. Star Wars Unsheathed 2. Fucking raw dogging edition. Yeah. I think I've got the first one for PS3, but I don't own that one. And to be fair, when I checked, they're not bad prices, to be fair. Um, Red Faction. Gorilla. You fucking nan beating on my chest. Oh. And they are all complete. Assassin's Creed, Black Flag. Yeah. Pound. Sims 3. Is that a bit of tape? Yeah, a bit of tape. So, yeah, all complete. It's like, it's rude to say no, people. It's rude to say no. Now, the one main one which I could have picked up was a Minecraft. Now, I think they've got it up for £5. So I checked and CEX, yeah, I could have done all right if I wanted to trade for it. But the inlay was ripped at the bottom slightly, do you know, and it did have instructions, to be honest, but, yeah. I was like, look, I wouldn't keep it in that condition myself, so I'm going to buy it just to make a few pound on trade or whatever. Nah. Fucking leave it. If somebody else wants it, let them make use out of it, you know? Yeah. Now, we're on to some cartridge-based stuff. And I'll show you what I got from Miso. Guffy, oh me so guffy, oh me so guffy. Brenda loves you long time. Oh. So, these I got four from me, so it ran a deal. I think it was fifteen percent off. And yeah, it worked out really good. Now one of the games is it was a lot cheaper than I could even attempt it at CX. I mean a lot cheaper. So we got Secret Command for the Master System. They've all got manuals. So yeah, me so goofy. And we got fucking Hang on. Yeah, that were a lot cheaper than CX. A lot cheaper. Now hang on's one of those games that I didn't even own back in my down cartridge or whatever. Yeah. Well for no need whether it'll built in machine. But fucking hang on. I'm coming, hang on, I'm coming on your nan's lips, yes, fucking hang on. Ooh, yeah, got two Mega Drive from me, so as well. Tarquin's Adventure, aka Talmit Adventure. I'd seen it loads of times as a kid. I don't even know if I ever tried it. I'll be honest. It cover, yeah, definitely rings a bell. Can I remember how it plays? I can't. So that tells me adventure. And one game which, oh, absolutely dog squirts. But I sort of had to get because all these Mega Drive I'm picking up, I'm picking up recently, maybe last four months. Because if I see something cheap enough, why not? I'll start another little set off, little one can can get him when he's older, whatever, whatever, you know. Same with Master System. If I show you any Master System, so I've picked them up with cheap, I'll keep hold of them, I'll start another sort of like set for little one, whichever. So I got Sonic 2. Now Sonic pisses me off. Badly. But yeah, I'd purchased him purchased the first Sonic for him. Uh Sonic 3. So yeah, I need two. I was trying to look, see if I've uh, done another. But what's happening with this room at the minute, I've been really busy, I've been sorting things around. So, as it stands at the moment, there is going to be Nintendo, right? That wall, Sega. That wall, PlayStation. Gaming, gaming, gaming systems, gaming systems below here. Now, that's the plan. Now, this isn't going to be my collection room, this is going to be my gaming's room, but we'll start shifting more in. A lot of people, when they've done the channels, um, etc., they start off in a room that they've got 
kind of a lot of things anyway. Now, 98% of things in here, I've bought as I've been going, you know? Because this was my YouTube room. And if you look at my old videos, you'll see I've just got a few little bits in background, etc. And then you would have seen me built my Xbox up, you would have seen me purchase things that I bought for cheap, and I'm starting another set, or this, that, and other. So yeah, this room is one big journey itself. So it comes to a point where even if I thought, yeah, I'm getting no love on YouTube, I'm fucking not wanted anymore, it don't matter. Because I've still got memories, I can look around this one room and think, remember when I picked that up? You know, so this full room is my YouTube journey, really. And that, yeah, it's pretty cool. My collection rooms are separate, yeah. Jobs a boost. Loving it. Memories on the corner of my undies. Ow. Then. Oh. No, 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 no. Got something else from me, so. He threw me something in the box, and I was like, ooh, what's this? So I thanked him for it, and he's like, look, as soon as I saw him, I knew both of you. Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. Both! The spy who girthed me. Yes! Now, I love these cards. Love these old sort of cards, so let's turn up the enthusiasm. Is it true? It's true. Yeah, the spy who girthed me. Luke, thank you very much, brother. You a real one. Honestly. Oh, what do I do? Right, so I'll carry on with Mega Drive. So we've got Ren and Stumpy Girth. Is it called that one? Stimpy's Invention. Oh, I don't even know. As you can see, look, that one's from Kenny's. It's in Baggies. Yeah, not too sure. But we'll have it. Mickey Mania. Kenny's again. Yeah. You can't go wrong with Disney games on uh, old machines. Yeah. Artwork on that is decent as well, to be honest, isn't it? You know? Then, Gurphy Dicks. I mean, uh, Asterix. The Great Rescue. Yeah, another one. That's from Kenny's. Yeah, can't fault these. Especially for money. Yeah, Kenny always does me a good deal as well, so... Big up Kenny once again. Oh, we got some more Master System. Quite a few more Master System. We've got an old one and a staple where if you're sort of like starting a collection or you're building another collection, whatever, this is one I'd recommend. It's cheap. And all these games, I'm reckoning, yeah, I've got real nostalgia for when I was a kid. I've told people, a guy used to come round, he used to rent Master System games out, and every week he'd be like, look, I've got these in, I've got these in. So it was basically like a mobile VHS sort of shop, but he did games. And yeah, man, I remember getting these games, and I'd be playing them, and at the time they looked absolutely unreal. And I'd play them till death. And then he used to come next week and I used to give him back and get some new ones. And, oh, man, the memories were... is unreal. Thinking about Sega Master System. Yeah. Um, for me, the Sega Master System is not the first console that I played, not the first games machine I played. But I'd ultimately say it was the one that elevated it up big style, you know? And then PC Engine, Neo Geo just made me kind of forget about these. But yeah, I sort of like look and I see channels that's got my system on. And yeah, some of them have grown up with them. Some of them are just buying them now. But yeah, the nostalgia for me and memories is um, immense. And that is Teddy Boy. Fun little game, you know, and it's still cheap at the minute. So yeah, and people know I get my games cheap. Um... So, yeah, Teddy Boy. Had some fun playing that. All these are boxing complete as well. 
Another one that's still cheap at the minute. Really good game. Masses of fun on this. Yeah. Enduro Racer. Or as Tarquin likes to refer to himself as Enduro Raver. When he goes raving at these European clubs with a fucking pink bikini on. He is the Enduro Raver people. Yeah, this game um, I loved. And for some reason I always sort of like think of Chase HQ with it. You know, at times I'm thinking back and I'm like, oh, it's Chase HQ. No, it's not. It's this game. And yeah, what a game. Yeah, SCI. Beast! Fucking beast! Fucking beast, they love this game. Yeah. And for me, the reason why I'm starting these sets again is pff, it's better than money in bank. If you can buy them cheap enough, I think it's better than money in bank. And. Oof. A classic on the PC engine and a classic on this system. It's just a classic game. And it's not just me. Loads of people have got love for this game. And it is. Girth Nobby. Girth Nobby. Oof. Fucking beautiful game. Yes. You are a fucking master, Ninja Fingers. Oh. Yes, people. Fucking Girth Norby. Damn, dude. Another game, which I played the hell out of. And it's fucking sexy as a motherfucker. And that is Submarine Attack for the Mass System. That one's from Kenny's. Yeah. If anybody hasn't played this, just go play it. Now, I've mentioned this, and it's like, if you haven't got nostalgia for old games and you go back, are you thinking the garbage? Now, let me put you my perspective on what I think. Right. So if I tried to go back to the Atari 2600, right, for example, I can't play them anymore. I grew up with them, but I can't play them anymore. They're just too basic, unresponsive for me. I just don't get it. Now, the Master System, for me, is a console I can go back to. It's probably the earliest console where I could play. That and the NES. For me, they're still good. You know? But that doesn't mean nothing. Now, I can play these. Then I could go up to some PS1 games and I'm like, fuck, you know, look at graphics on that all square. and ooh, ooh. Terrible. So it's not the age, sometimes it's the style of a game. Now, these wasn't meant to look real, you know? So they can get away with it and it plays good. That's my take, anyway, what do you think? Now, my favourite fucking character on gaming fucking systems, especially platform. Now, I love them. Not a lot of people have got love for them, but... Yeah, I don't know what it is, and a few of these are saying, oh yeah, yeah, they're not as good as the one that we got built in. But, I, I still really like them, me. Alex Kidd, in Girth Nobby World. Oh, is it true? 16 bits and bobs! <laughs> yes! Old fucking Ali loved fucking Sega, didn't he? Fucking jerked all over him. Yeah, and he'd be like, oh, Nintendo, shit. But then he'd be fucking jerking of a fucking non-Stendo Switch all the time, wouldn't he? Yeah, you know it, people. World Grand Prix, motherfucker. Yeah. Now, when you start to read it, it's like, ra race the hottest cars in the world on the hottest tracks in the world. Really? Really? Nah. But... I did used to like it. I did used to like it, and I'll still be to play it. So, yeah. Well, Grand Prix, I mean, though, I know a lot of people mention this, but fucking, yeah. A lot of the covers on Mass System are absolutely fucking shit, aren't they? They definitely didn't sell them with covers. So, I suppose games had to be good to make you buy them. Or did they? Yeah. Above my pay grade. And another classic where. 
you need to fucking get on it if you haven't played it. It's simple. For me, it's kind of addictive. And yeah, it's still cheap. And that is The Ninja. Not to be confused with The Skidmark Ninja. Yeah. Because The Skidmark Ninja is very silent, is very deadly. And he always leaves trails. Usually in the underpants. Yeah. The Ninja. Ooh. Fucking Hadouken. Shot some fucking, shot some of my seed on your fucking grandma's lips. Now, I've got some of them caps for my sandwich joysticks for arcade machine. Now you can see that, some dust caps for joystick. Thought I'd get some of them. I've never bought from Etsy before. So you catch on that. Now, I sort of like Google dust caps for, or dust covers for joysticks, and I'm like, oh, they're all right then. I'll have some of them. And then you're just talking random shit like fucking clips for your fucking connectors, big connectors, you know? And yeah, there's a few more bits that obviously gone straight on the shelf. I couldn't remember what I've fucking bought since I've last been off. It's probably been, what, like a month, maybe. I don't even know. But yeah, I'll see what's happening with that arcade machine. I'll get them fucking joysticks put in, etc., etc. Probably film it just in case. But yeah, everybody, man, keep safe, keep sexy, do you? If not, do a granny, do two, do three, do four. If not, you want to do more. Don't do them with a rubber, do them raw. Because I'm motherfucking hard to the core. Oh, baby, baby. That's how I motherfucking do. Peace.